See you then. See you then. 1980 2011 was an English bred racehorse who won the champion hurdle three times. He is one of only five horses to achieve this feat. His career over hurdles consisted of 15 races, of which he won 10. He had suspect tendons throughout his career, which made it difficult to keep him sound. His lack of racecourse appearances eventually earned him the nickname in some quarters of CUN. Background CU then was bred in Yorkshire, England by the Ribblesdale stud. His sire Royal Palace was a top-class flat horse whose victories included the 1967 Epsom Derby. His dam Melodina was a high-class two-year-old in 1970. CU then was sold for 17,000 guineas as a yearling before going into training with Con Collins in Ireland. 1983-84 season Prior to making his hurdling debut at Nas in January 1984, CU then had run eight times on the flat in Ireland, winning on four occasions. He was successful in the Nas race, then followed up with another victory in a 17-runner race at Punchestown. He was visually impressive in this race, traveling with ease before quickening past the leaders and winning comfortably. Shortly before the Punchestown race, he had been purchased by the Stitewood Stud Limited with the intention of continuing his career in Italy. He temporarily moved to Nicky Henderson's Lombourne stable in England. During this first stay with Henderson, he ran once when starting favorite for the Triumph Hurdle at Cheltenham, the main championship race for juvenile hurdlers. In a 30-runner field, CU then finished second, beaten two lengths by Northern Game after holding every chance. CU then was then transferred to Italy where he won a hurdle race in Milan. It was then announced that he would be returning to England to continue his career with Henderson. 1984-85 season CU then won three of his five starts during this season. On his first outing in November, he finished third to Ron Nova in the Jerry Failden hurdle at Newbury. The following month he won the HSS Higher Shops hurdle at Ascot. The third-placed horse in that event was Desert Orchid, who reopposed CU then in the Christmas hurdle at Kempton Park. Both found the Monica Dickinson trained Brown's Gazette too good. The winner won by 15 lengths, with a further 10 lengths separating Desert Orchid. CU then was then tried beyond two miles for the first time at Doncaster in February, where he won the Balmoral hurdle. Fourteen runners lined up for the 1984 champion hurdle. CU then started at 16-1. Brown's Gazette went off the 4-6 favorite ahead of the 1983 winner of the event, the Mercy Rymel trained Gabe Brief, who started at 3-1. Written by Steve Smith Eccles, who was replacing the injured John Frankham, CU then traveled comfortably throughout the race, moved up to challenge at the last hurdle then sprinted away to beat outsider Robin Wonder by seven lengths without his jockey needing to pick up his whip. Although CU then was impressive in victory, the race is often best known for the incident at the start when Brown's Gazette swerved as the tapes went up and lost all chance of winning. He eventually finished sixth. CU then did not reappear after Cheltenham. He ended the season with a time form rating of 166 which was six pounds behind the organization's top-rated hurdler of the season, Brown's Gazette. 1985-86 season CU then ran only three times during this season, winning twice. He did not reappear until February when he won the Oatley Hurdle at Sandown Park, beating the 1983 Sun Alliance novice hurdle winner Sabin Dulor, who was returning from a long absence. His next race was a defense of his champion hurdle crown. In a 23-runner field, CU then started the 5-6 favorite, ahead of the Martin Pipe-trained Corporal Klinger who started at 11-1. Kesslin and Gay Brief came next in the betting. CU then's stable companion first bout, who had won the 1985 Triumph hurdle, also made the line up. Missing was Brown's Gazette, who had collapsed and died in the fighting fifth hurdle at Newcastle, back in November. CU then won easily again, beating Gabe Brief by seven lengths, 
with the Peter Easterby trained no hull done a further length, and a half away in third. His now regular rider Steve Smith Eccles recounted, The race gave me no worries at all. I managed to keep C.U. then clear of the pack, cruised up behind Gabe Brief going to the last and let him sprint away up the hill with that devastating turn of foot that marks him as a true champion. C. Uvin's last run was his only career appearance at Aintree. Stepping up in distance to two miles and five furlongs in the Sandeman Aintree hurdle, he could not overhaul Anok and was beaten a length. The winner had previously finished well behind in the champion hurdle. C.U. then ended the season as Time Form's top-rated hurdler, with a rating of 173. 1986-87 season. C.U. then appeared just twice, winning both races. A series of physical problems resulted in him reappearing only a week and a half before the champion hurdle. This came in the De Vere's Hotel hurdle at Haydock Park, where he beat his three rivals. Recounting the race... Timeform stated that, since T.U. then carried an unusual amount of condition for him, it was reasonable to assume he would improve significantly for the outing, though he didn't blow particularly hard in the unsaddling enclosure. C.U. then faced 17 rivals at Cheltenham. He started favorite at 11-10, ahead of No Holmden, the North American champion Flatterer, and Corporal Klinger. As in the previous runnings, C.U. then traveled smoothly, and moved up to challenge at the last. He landed ahead and quickly opened up a gap over Barnbrook again. However, he began to tire halfway up the run in and at the line, was fully stretched to hold on by a length and a half from the Jerry Fishback ridden flatterer. Barnbrook again was close behind in third. In winning the champion hurdle for the third successive time, CU then joined the select band of Hatton's Grace. Sir Ken and Persian War. Ista Brock would later join the list. CU then again ended the season as Timeform's top rated hurdler, achieving the same rating as in the previous season of 173. 1987 88 season. Connections of CU then had begun the season with hopes of having the first horse to win the champion hurdle four times. He appeared only once when pulling up lame in the Kingwell hurdle at Wincanton. After the race, it was announced that he had been retired. 1989-90 season. C.U. Vin's first retirement ended when he reappeared in February 1990, finishing sixth of eight runners behind Royal Derby in the listed city trial hurdle at Nottingham. He subsequently fell in the Kingwell hurdle before finishing 16th in the 1990 champion Hurdle won by Crimesis. C.U. Vin's final racecourse appearance came in the Scottish champion Hurdle at Ayr in April 1990, where he finished ninth behind Sabery. Retirement C.U. Vin enjoyed a long retirement at his owner's premises in Italy. He died at the age of 31 in December 2011. Pedigree E. Pedigree equals equals references equals equals equals